Though it's just a coincidence that the police chief was the same man in charge of the Las Vegas shooting. And it's just a huge coincidence that property owned by millionaires and billionaires like Jeff Bezos, Oprah, and the founder of PayPal remained untouched while the land of the natives burned only a few feet away, literally. And it's just a huge coincidence that the island had the largest system of outdoor sirens in the world, yet they decided not to sound them or alert anybody in any way. And it's just a huge coincidence that they closed all of the schools, sent all of the children home, and turned off the water as soon as the fires started so that people couldn't put them out. And it's just a coincidence that under orders, policemen blockaded the exits, didn't allow anyone to evacuate, and forced them to jump in the water to save their own lives. And it's just a coincidence that the island is set to be the very first to operate on 100% renewable energy. And to do so, they must significantly decrease their CO2 emissions. And it's just a huge coincidence that one month prior to the fires, the mayor issued a press release highlighting his commitment to the United Nations 2030 Agenda of Sustainable Development. And it's just a coincidence that Hawaii is the only state to have submitted a voluntary local review, which is a framework and goal set to achieve sustainable development. And it's just a huge coincidence that BlackRock and the United States government are two out of the three largest landowners on the island who have been trying to buy up the land from the natives for the past few decades, who refuse to sell, and both of them are part of the renewable energy agenda. And it's just a huge coincidence that the survivors' homes that are still standing are now being evicted. And it's just a coincidence that the fact checkers saying that all of this is a coincidence are owned by BlackRock. At this point, if you believe that all of these are coincidences, you are the crazy one, not me. Google is not going to come out and tell you what's going on, and even if they did, a lot of you wouldn't even believe it unless it was from a government or fact-checking website. But guess what? They're not going to tattle on themselves, so you need to think for yourself. We should be absolutely enraged about these fires. We really need to stand up and do something, because things like this are just going to keep happening, because we allow them.